Mr. Rock? Mr. Bowie. <sighs> Much obliged for the respect, sir, truly. But it's just Jim, to my friends. We are strangers, Mr. Bowie. Uh, well, that's a fact I'm hoping to change, sir. You see, I rode out here to offer you a job. You see, I'd like you to serve as my deputy, sir. I think what you're offering is a calling, son, not a job. A job is where what you get paid is worth what you're doing. Well, sir, there'd be pay. You see, we could pay you about eight dollars a week you to... You can't pay somebody enough to be a deputy, son, same as you can't pay a soldier enough to fight for his flag. Well, sure, you can pay him to put on a uniform and carry arms. That's about all you can buy, though. You can't pay a man enough to truly believe in what you believe. Huh. Well, sir, what do you believe in? I believe in coffee, son. This coffee right here. This pot of hog rut chili. This log I'm sitting against. The fact that I'm free to cook this coffee and chili on a fire I made. The fact that I've got a gun on the saddle and right here in my old holster and can use it whenever I get good and ready to fend off evil, son. I believe in order and law. I believe there are evil folks in the world. And good men can help hold them accountable to laws that we can all agree to. For all good, decent, God-fearing people and even folks that try to be good, if nothing else. I believe in freedom. Wow. Sure sounds like you're the right man for the job, sir. You don't listen, do you, son? You can't pay me enough to believe in those kind of things. Either I do or I don't. And you do. Yes. Yes, I do. Well, will you accept my offer, sir? Nine dollars a week will make sure I don't start doubting. <laughs> you drive a damn hard bargain, Mr. Rock, but I think we can swing it. Drop it, Mr. Jim. Just call me Rock. Huh. Rock. All right. I like it. Well, Rock, seems like there's a storm on the horizon. You ready? <laughs> <laughs>